What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up. So, yo, the Dallas Cowboys will kick off versus the Carolina Panthers this Sunday at noon. And y'all know, man, I'm not a fan of noon games, but the Dallas Cowboys must come to play versus the Carolina Panthers. And I know what people are saying. Tuck, they only got one win. It is not about them. It is about us, and we need to continue to go out there and execute and set the championship standard. But I was online. I was on Twitter. Just minding my own business, having a great Wednesday morning, right? And I came across this from 105.3 The Fan. And salute to 105.3 The Fan, one of my favorite stations to listen to every time I'm in Dallas. But they had a post, and it says, Cowboys question. Is Micah Parsons starting to slow down? And my thought process when I read this, y'all, what the hell? Oh my God, no way, yeah, yeah. Bruh, ain't no Why way. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, ain't, ain't no-, no way you can look at what Micah Parsons is doing and think that he is starting to slow down. Now, here's what I commented, and I said this. If you go back to week one, I even made a video about this. I will post that below, but definitely check it out. But y'all gonna take Micah off, and I really want people to understand his impact is bigger than just sacks. That's just the surface level. Hell, y'all remember Robert Quinn? Robert Quinn put up great sack numbers, and he was passed around from Dallas and passed around from Philly and passed around from Chicago, right? There's a lot more that you can do as a defensive player than just sacks. And I feel like that is the biggest problem when it comes to Micah Parsons and why I did that video. But if you look at where Micah Parsons is currently today, Today, right now, Micah Parsons is number one in pass rush win rate, number two in double team percentage, and seven and a half sacks on a defensive line that we know eats. We know we got Demarcus Law. Look how many sacks Dorrance Armstrong got. Look how many sacks Osa Dickie Zuba got. You got Dante Fowler. There's other beasts on this defense, and sometimes Micah is just getting beat to the punch, and everyone else is feasting before he can get there but make no mistakes about it some of that is very due and partially to what micah parsons brings on the field so listen y'all i know we got the panthers i know i know we got the panthers and it's not sexy it's not exciting but come on y'all micah parsons slowing down the one person you do not have to worry about cowboys nation ever slowing down is micah parsons now is micah parsons being held absolutely but slowing down i just don't think that is in the lion's dna so i'm definitely not concerned about micah parsons but salute to 105 to the fan and do incredible work over there like i said tune into those guys tolo every time i'm in dallas it's the first thing i turn on when i land from the airport but speaking of this sunday's matchup and we're going to go through the film we're going to go through the scouting report we're going to get back to work we took last week off because the same scouting report that i had week one versus the giants is pretty much the same thing but this is going to be a new opponent and y'all know our model here we will respect our opponent but we will fear no one so i feel like the question i'm getting right they have a new play caller i think uh their coach is going to take over the play call and things gonna be slightly changed but you know tuck is this a trap game and the cowboys love you know, the Cowboys fans love that word, trap game, trap game. Every, every, you know what I'm saying? It's a trap game, trap game, trap, 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 trap. Salute to Jeezy, you know. But I don't think this is a trap game, y'all, because I feel like the Dallas Cowboys are setting their own standard and they know what's ahead of them. You know, and I think that's where sometimes, right, some of the Cowboys teams of old, you had to kind of worry about, okay, are they going to fall asleep at the wheel and do different things like that? But the way that this team has taken its lumps, right? We lost to the Cardinals. We lost to Philly. We lost to, you know, um, the 49ers. I mean, we didn't just lose the 49ers. We got dog walked by the 49ers, right? But I just don't see the, this Cowboys team being able to walk around beating on their chest like they're godly. I just don't get that type of temperament when it comes from this team. I feel like they're locked in is continuously focusing on each individual Sunday. So I don't see a game where the Cowboys come out there and they sleep at the wheel and it's the fourth quarter and we are struggling with the Panthers. I expect once again for our Dallas Cowboys team to come out there and handle business, handle business early 
and then let some of our younger players kind of rest. You know, Dak Prescott put on his fourth quarter hat. I want to see the fourth quarter hat from Dak Prescott, right? But I think you're going to see a continuous trend. Offensively, I think they're going to continue to get CeeDee Lamb involved. They're going to continue to probably add Brandon Cooks. Now, here is what I'll say, Cowboys Nation. Tony Pollard, bro. Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard. Bring it. Bring it. TP, bring it. It's my last week, bro. This is my last week. I can I cannot defend you anymore. You have to help Jay Tuck out. Now I've been fighting off the mob when it comes to Tony Pollard, right? But this is the last week, yeah, bro. If you don't get in the end zone and have a big explosive game versus one of the worst run defenses in the NFL, TP, I, I can't fight this battle for you, right? So I'm expecting Tony Pollard to have a big game, but this is going to be my last time saying it because I said it last week. And like I said, Tony Pollard, he's still getting volume. He's still getting over 55 yards a game, you know, but it's just those Tony Pollard games we're accustomed to seeing last year is what we are not seeing. But I would also like to see the Cowboys utilize Rico a little bit more. I've got a video about the drop on that. Just run Rico a little bit more, right? Get back to that one-two punch. But I feel like offensively, we should be able to do a lot of different things versus this Carolina Panthers defense. And on the defensive side of the ball, get pressure, right? Bryce Young, young, talented, but he's still having some rookie struggles. I know a lot of people are talking about him versus CJ Stroud. Now, I asked that question back in February, in March. Everyone kind of laughed at me. He's like, are y'all sure that CJ Stroud isn't the best quarterback in this draft? Like, Tucker, are you crazy? You know. But I feel like he's still a talented quarterback, right? And the last thing you want is for him to sit back, get comfortable, and get confident. And they're probably going to try to simplify things to put him in the best position to be more comfortable and make more simplistic plays. And that's probably why they made the adjustments from the offensive play calling. So get pressure, stop the run, just do what we've been doing. Don't change nothing. It is not about the Carolina Panthers, y'all. It's about us. Continue to do what we do, continue to go out there and execute. And I feel like the Dallas Cowboys should handle this game easily on Sunday, but we'll definitely get to that this week. But as far as Micah Parsons slowing down, y'all, absolutely not. Cut the cap. Cut, cut it. Cut, cut the cap. Micah Parsons isn't slowing down. Didn't he just have a, a sack versus Philly, right? But a lot of people just look at the stat sheet. How many sacks did he get? Right, he didn't get a sack. He must be slowing down. That is not the case. Micah Parsons out there. He's playing well. He's doing a lot of different things. He's blitzing the A gap, B gap. He's being double teamed. He is being utilized as that chess piece. It's not just about numbers. Micah's impact is a lot bigger than that, man. But comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. Of course, salute to my High Point family. If you were not at the tailgate the big dallas tailgate last week i don't know what to tell y'all cowboys nation like, i don't know what to tell y'all you know because it's definitely dallas a blast tailgate. out there we had a good time out there so i really want you guys Experience. if you're in the dallas and you're dallas looking for something to do Brian, especially during the game week let me get that blown up let me actually get it blown up let me get that blown up here for you uh Prize yeah. surprise, you know what man. i'm saying on, like, yeah it, it, it was going down man it's a fun it's a whole vibe out there for y'all man so see your boy jay tuck let's see was that me you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, what's that mean? Yeah, look at, look at Jay Tuck, man. Look at that. Hey, Dak, if, if Dak if, if Dak puts on his fourth quarter hat, let Jay Tuck get in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I was out there tossing the ball around to some kids, man, just having a good old time. So it's definitely something you should check out. Tickets for the Thanksgiving game is selling fast, y'all. So get them fast. And that Philly game, it's almost sold out. But even if you're not going to the Cowboys game, I honestly recommend just going out to the tailgate because you're going to have a blast. But like I said, follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. Salute to High Point the Huddle. Uh, this Friday, they got CeeDee Lamb and Dez Bryant. So you do not want to miss that. Big 88 energy. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stop hating on Micah Parsons. Just leave the lion alone, will you? Peace. <laughs>